In today's idea of the day, I am going to talk a little bit about statistics. I find statistics to be fascinating because with statistics, it's not just a question of collecting data and reporting it. There is a very easy way that people can manipulate the results in a way that makes their argument better. Case in point, I've got a cholesterol problem. It's like 300. Not good, whatever it is. But I was told I needed to take Lipitor. All right, let's leave the argument about whether Lipitor is good or bad for you or whatever. But here's the interesting thing about statistics. Lipitor and cholesterol in general is uh, in some debate what it is, but this again, that's not today's today's debate. But the I was told by doctors and by other people that well, you should take the Lipitor specifically because it will give you a 33% better chance of survival of some sort of a heart attack or something like that. Now here's the thing: 33% better chances sounds fantastic. It's like, wow, I'm going to be 33% healthier if I take this pill. But did you know where they get those statistics from? Well, statistics, as I said, are very easy to manipulate. Well, it comes from this. Uh, take 100 people at random, and you could probably say, not probably, they did, this, they did the math. You can say 3% of them are going to have a heart attack over a certain period of time. 3% of that sample, whatever the sample size may be. 3% are going to have heart attacks. Now, if you then give uh, Lipitor to the uh, people in the study, it brings the odds down to 2%. So it's a 1% difference between 3% and 2%. But since that's pretty much you have a group of three in the sample who potentially could have a heart attack, the 3%, and it now goes down to two, which is small enough for margins of error, but now 2% instead of 3% have heart attacks and die. So rather than saying, well, hey, take Lipitor and you have a 1% better chance of survival, that wouldn't have sounded good because you go from 2% to 3%, 3% to 2%. So they say, well, one out of three, 33%, 33% better chances. And this isn't, again, about the whole Lipitor thing because I'm still figuring that whole thing out. But the reality of it is statistics are easily manipulated because there could be other factors that account for that other percent. So for example, if you took that 3% of people who are at risk and now you then give them this, this Lipitor, now the, again, the sample goes down, those other people also might have been so concerned with their health that they started riding treadmills and they started doing other things. So the people who are taking Lipitor, et cetera, you know, there's all sorts of other factors. So statistics can easily be swayed in many other ways. So whenever you read a statistic, sometimes it'd be uh, an interesting thing to see if you can find out where they got their numbers. And then that kind of gives you a little bit of insight as to how they may have manipulated them to tell you what it all means. And that's today's idea of the day. So, hey, thanks for watching. I don't really need any subscribers, but it would really be nice if you hit the subscribe button and shared this with your friends and told everybody how nice it is to be here and how there's lots of nice ideas every day. That would be nice. I don't need subscribers or anything like that. All I need is maybe this chair. And that's it, nothing else. Except maybe this paddleball game and remote control the ashtray and the lamp. But that's it, I don't need anything else.